every day is the day for self-love. But today specifically is for you. This day is for you. It's for you. <laughs> I am going to grab some water. I'm just going to take you with me. <laughs> We're mobile. How is it? How are you? How's your day going? Is there anything that your body needs right now? Anything your soul needs right now? Thank you. Take the time right now to just feel, feel into your body a little bit and just notate what it is that you're calling for. What is your body calling for right now? I put on this, uh, this Kundalini Tantra playlist. That's what I'm feeling today. Mm. Just feel into the body. This is your place for this time, for this moment. Nothing is calling to you. Nothing requires your attention. Lavender. Mm. Invite those warm, deep breaths into your vessel. Let your body know that you are home. You are home in this vessel of love. today a spicy day I usually have a fan mm. I'm just taking a moment to just breathe into where I am breathe into my body as you take this moment too to just Feel where you are, feel where you're gonna be for the next moment. Feel what calls to you within the next moment. I'm huge for sense and creating a mood, making sure I have water or tea nearby. Making sure I have sage or palo santos nearby for my cleansing of energy, lightening of energy. 
the groundedness that we are safe, we are here, we are protected always, always, always. <laughs> and just allow it to lift your spirits. Feel the smile meet your face, meet your cheeks, meet your eyes, meet your third eye, smile through that third eye. Can you hear me? I guess this whole time I haven't been able to be heard. <laughs> oh, you can hear now, yay! <laughs> How silly, oh my goodness. I was saying how we could smile to different portions of our body from the chakras. So smile. we were smiling through our third eye when Instagram started glitching. But thank you so much for telling me. I never would have known. <laughs> mm. So 
just allow a deep breath. Breathe into your root chakra, right where you sit, that foundation, the self-love is the foundation right there in your root. We breathe into our sacral. You might see a bright color orange as you inhale and breathe life to our security. all that energy, that energy center. Breathe light and smile down into your solar plexus. You may see the color yellow expand as you take that deep breath. This is the self power. Another energy source that you can access whenever you require that self love. It's all here. Beaming that color yellow. You may breathe in and smile upon your heart chakra, heart center. Green as nature, as we are nature. And the fastest way back to self is through nature. Step outside. And it activates all of the chakras. You may envision the color green expanding as you breathe life and light and love into your heart. Let yourself know that you are loved. You are honored. You are cherished. As we activate that throat. Activate that throat chakra, letting yourself know how worthy you are, how loved you are, how secure you are, how supported you are. You may see and feel the color of blue expand, that deep, delicious indigo. As you breathe life and light and love into your throat chakra, you say what needs to be said. You're not afraid to speak your truth. our way to our third eye, the Ajna, more beautiful hues of blue rise as we awaken that third eye, breathing life and light, power, worthiness, balance. into our knowledge, our inspiration, Mm. our ideas that keep us where we are. Mm. May your ideas and knowledge flow freely always, never stuck, never set on one notion as they are always ever changing. Keep the 
eye, the third eye, the Ajna, open. Open to receive always. Mm. As you breathe light all the way up through your body from your root. Mm. From your root to your sacral to your solar plexus to your heart to your throat to your ajna and through the crown mm. through the crown you are the goddess you are the queen you are the king you are everything you are the source of your love the source of your happiness the source of your source here Through this alignment, through this awareness in your body, you find liberation, freedom within self, honor within self, home within self. And always find yourself shining that third eye brightly, brightly into the sky. May you always feel that burst that aligns your spine, that makes you sit up a little bit more, that allows you to take in much more energy because you are brave now and you are powerful and you know where you stand. And you don't have to protect yourself anymore because you are grounded you are centered you know you you understand you and you are unswayable nothing can sway you but yourself and you will not allow it as the light beams through your crown chakra you feel the ignition of all the other lights just vibrating within you. Mm. Stay here for a moment as you feel into your body. Mm. Inviting deep breaths. Watch them come and go. Notice how you are feeling in this moment. Simply observe.
deep breath. Look at you over there shining. Just beaming your light. <laughs> so wonderful. If you can do this outside in nature, oh my goodness. So powerful. I don't know how long that was. I think it was like five minutes or so. Just imagine how much your life would change if you could just stop and pause with yourself for five minutes. Five minutes a day to listen to your body, listen to your soul, listen to the thoughts that you may run away from throughout the day. They're not so scary after all. They're simply just showing you some things that you may have missed while in the, the bustle of life. Gosh, and it's just so amazing because this time with self, it activates things within you within us that we miss, that we miss. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of things benefit from you missing those, those messages from those steps. It keeps you where you are. And a lot of times, wherever you are, those things don't want you to change. You're doing a great job in that in that cog or in that position. They don't want you to change, but you're here to change. You're here to evolve. You're here to do something for a while and then ascend to the next portion of your life. So whenever you do feel that stagnancy, just, just sit, sit with yourself and listen. Is this where I am to be right now? Yes or no? And your body knows. Sometimes we just don't want to listen because we know the answer, but our body knows what's next. Just be brave. Be brave and listen. It's just so silly because oftentimes we're met with the thought of oh meditation it's boring or oh this is so silly but it's like what's the latter scrolling on something filling your mind with other things other words doing something else that's not meditating <laughs> just take a moment five minutes that's all and you can go back to your games back to your scrolling, back to whatever. Or you can answer to the message that your voice gave you. Answer to the message that was sent to you during your meditation. Now you get a call to action and you get this list of things that, oh wow, if I, if I didn't sit still, I never would have known that. I wanna paint today. <laughs> You never know what adventures you'll you'll get on. But if you just turn to the things that keep you in your habits, that keep you where you are, you're gonna get to stay exactly where you are. And that's a comfort zone. And you can choose that. You can say, I thank you, I want my comfort zone, thank you. Or you can say, all right, my body's telling me this now. My body says, no, I'm gonna just go this other route and see where my life can take me. <sighs> Let's breathe that in. You always have a choice. Stay in the comfort zone or flee into curiosity of life.
love yourself enough for this. love myself enough for this. over the course of time they kind of just come up with a bunch of self-love questions that people have so if you ever have a question please submit it to me put it in the chat box comment on this after I post it I answered I'm doing a series on TikTok of answering the self-love questions and this morning I answered the one of how to love self how how can you just start loving yourself and the number one answer is to get to know yourself it's to get to know what lights your soul up what makes you so excited so happy to be here what gets you excited start there the mind is going to come up with reasons why you can't do that right now why it's not feasible why it's not realistic but try to silence or just put those thoughts aside and, and write the list unapologetically write the list of all the things that excite you and then soon you'll have an entire list of things that wherever you are in the moment whatever you're doing in the moment and you're feeling down you can access that list literally pick one and do it right then and there literally it could be a walk it could be meditating it could be putting your feet in grass journaling doing some tarot um, making some art creating something writing music uh, anything that's gonna get you in your 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 purpose, your power, your soul, just excitement. Anything that's gonna get you in that kind of place, do more of that every single day. Everything else follows. Everything else comes. But do more of what lights you up every day. And soon you're gonna have a contract with yourself. I love myself enough to have the life that I want and I get to do these things. I used to not have hobbies at all. I used to never give myself time to do anything fun. It was literally all work. And now I'm like, I can do this. I can go on a walk if I want and I'm going to do that. So I invite you to, to love yourself enough to allow yourself to do the things that excite you. Get to know yourself. Love yourself so deeply. And I am just full of so much gratitude for you, for being here, for taking the time with yourself to breathe. 
<sighs> align your chakras with me and I don't know if I'm gonna go live on the weekends I haven't decided but either way I hope that you have an amazing beautiful wonderful powerful day and you get to show up to your meditation tomorrow regardless of me oh yeah I'm gonna be at meditate with a monk tomorrow I'm gonna be meditating with a monk but Maybe I'll go live there. I don't know. We'll see. But please have an amazing, beautiful, powerful day. And remember to love yourself. And do, do some things this weekend that makes you so excited. You deserve it. I'm sending so much love to you. Love you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You're so sweet.